a note with irises, yellow mauve, a bougainvillea, a clematis flower, macaws and more irises in the background, bamboo, some clematis in the background again, different types of irises, and maybe a rose will bloom while we're filming this. They've opened up a little, they have some buds in the background. This is a spring note on virgin spring, even if the spring here refers to the season and the film refers to the water. It's um, an excellent tragedy by the master Ingmar Bergman. It has Max von Sydow in the center. And um, we have this family who has two daughters. One is uh, Karen, the other is Ingeri. And um, Karen has a baby, or in fact she, she's going to have. And um, Karen is a virgin, the virgin in the title. And um, there is a sort of tension between them, one-sided. Ingeri is envious uh, on the condition of her sister. She's still pure, she's innocent, she has all her life uh, ahead of her, or so it seems. And she is with a baby and many things are forbidden. Uh, this takes place um, maybe 150 years ago. It's a time when there were different customs, only virgins could do things, certain things, and a woman in uh, Ingeri's position was uh, often an outcast, despised, and uh, persecuted, really. Karen is sent to the church uh, with some candles, uh, but She's starting off late, she seems to be a spoiled child, uh, the one they prefer, they like. It's also on account of the aforementioned fact that she is a virgin, she's still innocent, and that's one thing of this very good, um, very good film. It's wrong uh, versus right, good, good against evil, uh, theme aforementioned theme of innocence, virginity, purity, naivete, and then there's also the monster, the, 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 uh, the evil spirit, and there's a man like a wizard who comes into play at one moment when he is uh, taking out some animal parts and talks in terms of witchcraft and invoking spirits. I can say this without a spoiler alert, the second half of the film, what happens if there is a, a justice, if there is payback, I will just not mention that. But I will say this, that in the first half of the film, um, Karen is attacked. Uh, and it's even more outrageous because uh, not only is she innocent, uh, pure and naive, and why, why do something to, to this uh, flower, this untouched human? Um, but it's also a, a kindness that makes this so uh, horrifying. Uh, these, there are two men and uh, a boy of, I don't know, 11, who they say is their brother. If that's true, I don't know. We, we can't tell because uh, almost everything they say is a lie. So they see her, we see in her eyes that they have uh, evil thoughts and uh, they come next to her with something that attracts her attention and she sees the boy and she offers food, she's generous, she stays with them in a, in a clearing and then they just jump on her, both the adults, she's raped, and then she's killed, in cold blood, so to say, like, in a way, the horror from this recalls the uh, terror in, uh, in cold blood.
by Truman Capote. And um, there is also poetry, dark, because the film, the atmosphere is bleak, it's depressing. Most of I was thinking uh, towards the end that I have seen someone smile and that's boring, but she ended quickly. And so everyone else is uh, gloomy, uh, upset, um, uh, terrified, I would say, some of them. Let's talk of the abyss, the uh, yellow sulfur, and um, it is a tragedy indeed.